Hey, hey you guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic and this is Vintage Story and I am in Acantha. And notice, it's 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, in-game. No, that I, it's actually Thanksgiving. I'm recording this Thanksgiving morning and I know Thanksgiving is past. But anyway, happy Thanksgiving. Belated happy Thanksgiving. Um, I have been doing so much stuff, you guys. Uh, I think I've been playing for almost a full in-game month. Uh, that's crazy. Uh, what Bricklayers has forced me to do is do a ton of chores, which is really actually pretty good. I went to collect um, salt. I processed a metric shit ton of iron blooms. I have restarted the steel and I made myself a whole bunch of new steel tools. Um, I picked the pears. They were ready. I should check the other ones. I made a more better crates. I fixed my iron armor because I was processing iron anyway. I made myself a mannequin. Look at that mannequin over there. I did add the mannequin mod and I put my uh, cold weather gear on that. Um, I made myself my first pear pie. Uh, let me show you the mannequin. This is the mannequin. It's from the mannequin mod and you can put all kinds of things on it. So I repaired my cold weather gear and put it right there. Um, I also repaired my metal armor, if I didn't say so already. I picked olives. Um, I fixed my chiseled bench that I had over there. And I cleaned up the pulverizer box and made as many of the little things I needed for bricklayers as possible. So I've made like massacot. I've made this powdered corundum. I made some powdered ilmenite or limonite that I actually must have found in a ruin or a... A teal room because I had it in a random box down here. Um, what else have I done? I have done a lot of stuff. I've been playing for a long time, many sleepless nights, and like emptied this out as well, powdered everything. I'm in the process of still working on some of this stuff. I'm only putting these in 32 at a time because they powder to two times and I'm not babysitting it. Um, and I think that's really it. Steel is going. All kinds of good stuff like I have been so busy let's go check these trees real quick and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do today hey look there's some more pears five pears yes let's look at these oh we have apples let's pick these real quick yay yellow apples that means we're gonna be able to make apple cider oh my god yum perfect time of year to be drinking and making apple cider we're gonna make it into alcohol of course because that's what we do here that's what we do here and look at those pretty little pink apples we're gonna pick these real quick and then we're gonna head over to acantha to check the vinegar and i'm gonna tell you about what we're gonna be doing next um, we're going to figure out, I got to gather up the compost though, because before we go over, because we have um, some compost over here. We've been making compost the entire time we've lived here. So we have quite a bit of compost built up. Um, so let me gra gather up that. We're going to go over to Rainbow Rocks and then I will let you know what we're doing this episode. I'm excited, you guys. Something new. Oh, I'm eating my first fresh pears. I did have a pear pie. This pear pie is to die for, actually. These aren't pears a little too soft to actually put in a pie like in real life? There's pear tarts, I guess. So that works. Okay, guys, we are over in Rainbow Rocks. Let's go check on the vinegar very, very first thing. So I do have... Um, I have been talking to Tells, who is um, the author of the Bricklayers mod. He is on my Discord, and Mendel gave me a warning, so I appreciate you, Mendel, that once you actually have this acidic compost done, that the white lead takes forever. And I didn't know that. I would have gotten started on this a long time ago had I known how long this kind of stuff takes. But let's look at the vinegar. I have another thing of... Oh, I guess I already pulled from there. We have more compost going. But look, our vinegar... Whoa. But look, our vinegar is done. So next, what we need to do, I think, is compile this all... I'm going to assume 
or need to compile it all in one barrel. Let's put it all in this further barrel so we can get it kind of out of the center of the room. This is not a lot of vinegar, so I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to do something with this because it takes a long time to make this stuff. Um, so we have 28 liters of vinegar. Oh my god, that seems so little. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Okay, so we put in the equal amounts of compost with vinegar, and we have acidic compost after six hours. At least that's not very long. So we'll go ahead and seal that. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this compost in here. We have a lot of compost. What's the next step? Strong. Oh, we need tannin. Okay, we'll have to take it over to, um, we'll have to take that over, the, this, the weak acidic compost over to Acantha. Uh, when we're done. So guys, I've made a few decisions about what we're going to do next th in this playthrough because once you actually have that strong acidic compost, it takes another 42 days, 42 days in a barrel with lead to make white lead. I didn't know it took that long. Oh, this, this mod is not for the impatient. You just have to be patient and you have to get started on some of these things as soon as you can. And I'm learning that. So I hope you don't have to learn it the hard way that I'm learning it. So take it from me. If you can start making vinegar right away and start making white lead and white phosphorus right away, you will be a lot better off if you want to make some glowing glass. But I have made a decision. You guys look right down in the center. You guys know between my health bar and my hunger bar, I don't have the gear there because I decided to turn off the temporal stability because Acantha is named Acantha, which means kind of thorn in your side because I put my tower in a place that's unstable. Um, it is time for me to turn that back on and it is time for me to deal with the, with the game mechanics as they were meant to be dealt with. And I am going to be building one of Solston's boiler rooms. Now uh, I'm going to I'm going to put his uh, YouTube channel down in my description. He builds a boiler room, and he built a boiler room once at the very beginning when you could move the hot water. You can't move the hot water anymore. It basically lasted only a couple of weeks because I think I think Tyron realized that it was being exploited. But now, now the hot water that you move in a bucket cools down. So Solston's original design doesn't work anymore. But we're going to do Solston's 2.0 boiler room. And what that takes is that takes one of these one of these little hot springs and we are going to pick a hot spring and we are going to make a boiler room and we are going to turn back on the stability and get some storms and i might turn them on fairly often so uh we can mess with the boiler room so i have everything as you can see in a box on my back that we need i've been spending the last like day and a half in game gathering everything we need we had a lot of chert bricks and i went and got made more basalt bricks and quartz glass and everything we need so we're gonna go get that started right now okay you guys the first thing that we need to do before we build uh the boiler room is pick a location and i came over here because it's like this really this one really kind of level with my space here but there's two panda bears and this panda bear was just in the hot water dying and now he's mad at me I didn't do anything, dude. So I'm wondering if this is the best one. I don't, maybe we should go down the hill to leave these panda bears alone. Like he was chasing me just a minute ago and I don't wanna be the one that kills a panda bear. And if he's gonna be hanging out here, this is probably not the best place for me to build one. No, no, no. Dude, I don't wanna kill you. Look, he's standing on my box. Let's go down below. I just don't want to bother these panda bears. And this pit that we're about to make will definitely kill them. So we'll just deal with making um, a, a little bit longer of a road. Oh, yeah. There's all my fire clay. Okay, so these are a little bit bigger um and of course there's a bunny dead in one um 
And I guess we'll do this one. So this is going to take a little bit more blocks, though, because we're going to have to... Um, uh, there's this one up here. It needs to be at least four by four, and I don't think I have four. Do I have four here? One. It's going to be really careful. One, two, three, four. I do. Let's use this one. It's kind of smaller. This bowl is going to probably be a pain in the ass, but let's use this one. I might have to kill that bull. Uh, I, I don't mind killing a bull. I'm not going to kill a panda. Welcome to Vintage Story on this beautiful day. Ugh. Which one? One of these is spoiling. So we need to eat it first. I think it's... Yeah, it's this one. We'll eat this one first because it's spoiling. Okay, guys, I am literally going to have the video. This is Solston's Boiler Room. I'm literally going to have the video going on the side at a time. So I, a um, little piece at a time, so I can pay attention uh, to what we need to do. But rather okay, the first thing we need to do is block off a four by four of water um, with our blocks. So we have four by four right here. So one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna put blocks right here and I am going to very carefully take out these. Now the thing is, uh, Solston did this in creative. Um, I don't have that. Uh, I mean, I do, I could if I wanted, but I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do it in creative. I'm doing this in um, uh, survival. Uh, so we're going to be missing some blocks for sure. So there's one, two, three, four, and then we're going to block this off. And these go away. Um, one, two, three, four, and then these go away. So there's our four by four, and then we're going to fill in around this uh, with the with the blocks as well. So it's surrounded in blocks. I think I might actually go too wide. Yeah, let's go. Let's go ahead and go too wide. By the way, you guys, this uh, this sludgy gravel makes a great chiseling block for carpets. If you ever get into making chiseling rugs, it looks really good. I did one on the Bohemian server. You may remember if you saw it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, two, three, four, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace these blocks that are under the, the edge with um, more chert. Dangerous. It's dangerous. Okay, now we want to replace those four in the middle with some glass. Now I made quartz glass. It's super easy to make quartz glass, you guys. It's quartz and sticks. That's the way I made it. So we're gonna take uh, this four center pieces and we're gonna put quartz glass in there. Now we should have a safe um, a safe section of that hot water. Okay, now we want to fill these la this the top four because then when we destroy it, these apparently the water will flow downward. So th that is the next step. Okay, the next thing is we're gonna mark down below. So we're gonna take out, I guess we're gonna take out this one that I just put in. Um, we're gonna put in some corners. So we're going to take this out and then we're going to go down four. So two, three. Um, can I get, can I reach that one? Yeah. Four. And we're going to do that all around one away. So first this one. And then we're, and we're going to grab that block up again. I didn't do that on the other one. Two, three. Five. Oh, crap. Okay. I think that's is as far as we go. Okay, something like that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now what we want to do is we're going to hollow out everything we've created down here below. So, it feels scary to me. Very scary. 
Uh, but we're going to follow this and hollow it out. Okay, there's our other hole. So now we're going to go this way around our water source. All the way around and underneath, I believe. I will double check before I do that, though. I might be doing this wrong because I think I might have to go in here. Um, yeah, I, I, I did this wrong. So I'm going to fill this back in and we're going to go. We need to go four from this one because I actually ringed this twice. So. So yeah, I'm going to fix this really quick, guys. Okay, we're also getting rid of everything um, underneath these blocks that we placed. This feels so scary to me because, yeah, these are this is going to be floating for a few minutes. So there's our hot water, and we're going to get rid of everything under here. Okay, done. Next. Okay, now he tells us to. Um, decide on the front and go ahead and dig out two more uh, deep on whatever the front is that we what we want to have is the front. So I think I'm going to have this as the front because that is, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll have this as the front right here. So we're going to dig down two more blocks just like this, uh, two more deep and uh, four down. Okay, the next thing would be to rim this in uh, something other than uh, this gravel, just so it gives us a little bit more stability around this edge. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take all of these edge blocks out and rim this with the chert that I have. Okay, he also did all the walls and the floor. So let's go ahead and get that done as well. Uh, I guess this is just for stability so we don't have any cave-ins. So I'm going to replace all of this gravel um, with this chert. I'm glad I have a lot of this chert. The um, One of those better ruins that I dug up is where I got all this chert block. And it's perfect for this boiler room look, I think. So I'm going to replace the floor and the walls with the chert. And I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I'm working on the floor now. I'm going to put the basalt, um, the dark basalt blocks down here. The bricks. Okay, taking an eating break because this food is spoiling. I'm going to finish it really quick. And it is getting dark. I can't believe it. Okay, next step. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, we got some massive lightning, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go down in here and it's time to like build like a little retaining wall here. So we're going to put uh, around this two by two here like this. We're going to do um, walls and then this is going to be glass. And he says this doesn't have to be glass, but if you want to be able to see in, it can be kind of fun to watch the drifters come down. So we're going to put the quartz glass here. And then we need to take this back out. A two by three. Um, nope, not there. I think it's here two by three. I'm going to double check this though. And then, okay. Yes. So the two, oh, wait a minute. This is supposed to be a two by two area. Okay. So he doesn't have these in. So I'm just adjusting guys as I watch this video again. And then this here like that. So there we go. Two by three. And I'm going to go ahead and replace these with some basalt bricks as well. Okay, so that's the next step. Okay, apparently we're going down two more right here. And then we are going to be putting in... Um, let's see. 
I'm, I'm getting a little confused. We're going to put those like there, and then we're going to have some gl more glass right here and here, here and here, and then we're going to frame this out like this. And then we need, uh, wow, we're going to need uh, more glass. We didn't bring quite enough unless I just use... Um, I don't, I guess I, I can just use blocks here and here, and then we'll put glass here, here, and here, and here. I'm thinking we can probably close this off as well. But I think that this is where we're going to be, um, uh, uh, okay. I think that needs to go like that as well. I'm going to double check this, guys. I got to double check this. Be right back. Okay, we have this too high. So what I'm going to do is take these out and then these out as well. Because those are actually going to be glass. So the two are... Uh, the, apparently that's where we're going to be chiseling the drifters. Uh, I mean, harvesting the drifters. We're chiseling drifters. That's funny. But we need um, stairs. I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab these stairs because I brought stairs. I'm so prepared. And go back into here, put stair there, 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 and there. And this is where we're going to be chiseling these. And um, so we have a hole to be able to um, harvest the drifters. I think this is right so far. Yeah, I think that this is right now. Um, I'm actually going to change out some of this just so it looks nicer uh, because I want this to be... And we need some fence. Um, so I'm going to go up and get the fence and we're going to change that into chert so it's consistent. We are going to have to take a break here in a minute because I'm not going to want to be down here for in the dark forever. Um, and we do need to go check on the vinegar. But for now, I think the stairs go, let's see, let's put this on our bar. I think the blocks go here like this. And then I think that this is a stair, I mean a fence. I might have to change this later. Fence like that. And then we're going to uh, cover that up again like that. So that should... Um, we'll have to double check that that fence placing is correct. But the next thing we need to do before we take a break to um, go check the vinegar is to fill in the roof. And what he's done is he's left holes in the in the corners in order to get up and down. I'm only going to do that on the front side. I'm not going to do that on the back side because... Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, a rock. Okay. I got freaked out that I was maybe in the hot water. Yep. So we're going to fill in the roof here real quick before... Oh, look at the drifter. Yeah, get in the water, you stupid. Um, and then... Actually, that was the perfect spot. Ay, ay, ay. Stupid ass drifters. Fill in the roof. Fin it. We're going to finish filling in the roof. This is kind of a roof. Okay, these drifters are going to drive me crazy. So I'm going to grab a couple of my food. And oh my god, you guys. I'm going to grab my food and we're going to take a break while overnight. Let's go check the vinegar. Okay, so we should have a slightly acidic compost now. Uh, let's look. There it is. Slightly acidic compost. Let's pick it up. We have 28 of them. I did start a whole bunch more um, vinegar as much as I could. 
Uh, guys, we're gonna run over. I'm gonna be making the vinegar and this stuff in sections, obviously, and most of the stuff is gonna happen over here. But right now I'm gonna run back to Acantha and because my tannin is over there, um, and we're gonna go ahead and start the strongly acidic compost. So I will see you over there. This is a good thing to do at night when we have lots of drifters and, uh, you know, them interrupting our work. Okay, here we are in Acantha. I think in the future I'll just bring the mash over here and make the vinegar and everything from over here in the bricklayer's room. That way it makes it, it makes it a little easier. So we have some strong, don't we have strong tannin somewhere? Oh god. Weak tannin, weak tannin. I don't know whether this is enough strong tannin. Oh, damn it. We have to make more. I thought it was weak tannin. Let's see. H. Vinegar with this to make this. And the strong is... Oh, it is weak tannin. Excellent. Okay. So that's 38. Can I just put it in there? No. I probably have to take out 10 liters. So let's... Um... Take out 10 liters of this, just set it down, and then we'll put this in there. And then in 24 hours, we will have strong acidic compost. So one to one vinegar to weak acidic compost. Okay, that's the next step. While we are here in Acantha and it is nighttime and there's not a lot of building we can do, we're gonna go check on the, the sheep because they were all pregnant and I don't know when they were gonna have their babies. So we wanna make sure that the second they have their babies, we're aware of it so we can start milking. I did do a little bit more down into the cellar. Um, we have babies, so let's, oh my gosh, you guys, cheese. Okay, we are gonna start gathering our first milk here. She is still pregnant. She can be milked, so we're just going to right-click on her with a bucket, and she gave us our first milk! Yes! Okay, the other three are still pregnant. What are you doing up there, Piggy? Okay, so we only got one, but that's a start. You have to have 50, 50 in order to start cheese. So we're going to just take this down here and put it in our first, um, in our first barrel. It's good for 15 days. Oh my gosh, those other those other sheep better hurry. Okay, we're gonna be on um, milk duty and sheep duty here in uh, the 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 next few days as well. It's a busy summer, guys. It's a busy busy summer. Okay, I'm gonna get us through the rest of the night and then we'll meet back up over at the boiler room. We'll see you there. Okay, we're gonna finish doing this floor with two entrances. That's where we left off. Um, an entrance. Actually right there. And then for this, we're gonna want a couple of ladders and a couple of trap doors. And I did make some trap doors. I made enough actually for four entrances, but I really don't think that that's necessary for entrances. So we're gonna go ahead and put a ladder there and a ladder there and then a trap door. Seems I got rid of, nope, nope, nope. Seems I got rid of the drifters, potentially. Trap door right there. So a ladder, a ladder and a trap door. So now I have my entrances. Okay, I think we're doing really, really well. Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a carving area where we can uh, harvest these guys. But I'm going to get my lanterns. I made four lanterns as well. And I know that he uh, adds a roof in here later because I don't think it's a good idea to have um, this two... Um, Let's see, it's three high. We only want this to be two high, and I know he adds a roof in here later, so I'm also going to do that. But what we're going to do, I don't know whether I have enough. Let's just do it speckled. Let's 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 decorate the roof a little bit, just so uh, we're going to make this um, one less high, because during a storm, 
I don't know if you guys know, but uh, during a temporal storm, the uh, drifters can... Um... Sorry, I'm concentrating. Can spawn in um, air blocks. They can spawn in air blocks. Do you want this as small as possible, I think? Okay, this is now reduced down, and we only have two high all the, way around, all the way around. And that was a perfect idea because I didn't have enough blocks to do all of them. And then we're going to put lanterns right here um, in all of the corners. Actually, I want them to hang from the top. So let's take that back. Let's get these hanging from the top. That way we have light when we're down here in a storm. Okay, so there is that. Now what we're going to do is we are going to chisel these down to where we have little carving blocks um, to be able to uh, carve out these and harvest the drifters. So we can be able to harvest the drifters. So we're going to take out um, this and we're going to just make it half wide right in there. And then what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm going to take out like he did. I'm going to take this out just so I can see a little bit better. So now we're going to take out uh, one, two, two right here. I think we might have to reduce this down a little bit more. It has to go all the way through. And yeah, this isn't going to be wide enough. So one, two, three. One, two. Dang, this is so hard to see. I'm reducing this down a little bit more. One more uh, quarter section. And that way I can see it a little bit better. And then one, two. One, two, so that one needs to go. Okay, this is the way he said to do it. Two on the top, two on each side. I'm down to the two by two here. So you have two of the two by twos on each side and two of the two by twos on the top. Um, and you have a two by four section cut out in the middle. Now um, we can like make this a multi chisel block and, high, and um, add Let's make it a multi-chisel block and add a little frame around this so it is a little easier to see. I agree with him. That's going to be kind of important when you're in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a section like this and I'm going to add back this uh, um, the basalt. So I'm going to line this and uh, when I get that done, I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we have a little chiseling slot and that should, um, water should not pass through that. So uh, let's, let's hope. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put that one back and these back. Those are going to stay like that, except for that one is too wide still. So we're going to take another block off of this one. Okay, and then we're going to take this one, make it a multi-block, um, and then use the pantograph to copy it. So we're going to copy this one, and we're going to paste it here. Okay, so that should be our little chiseling space. I don't like how uncomfortable this feels right in here. I feel very trapped right in here, but um, that's where we're going to chisel the corpses. That's where we're going to acquire all the temporal gears. Hey, I'm in a house. Nice. So the other thing he did in um, this was to um, chisel out a little boundary here so you can't walk um, by there. But I, because apparently this glass gets hot, um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to trust myself that I'm not going to walk into the glass. But um, if it doesn't go well the first temporal storm, I may um, go ahead and do that. What he did is do is do a one voxel uh, deep, 
thing out to the corner of this block so you can't walk into it. Um, I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna skip that part and see how it goes. Okay, I think the next thing we need to do is make sure the corpse filter is in the right place. That's what he called it in the video. And I don't think it is in the right place. We need to move this fencing to um, right here because what's going to happen is... Let me take this one out too. So I think this, fil this fence needs to be right there because what's going to happen is as they die, they become one block high and then they'll be able to filter down into there and flow to our carving window. So I think that's the better placement or the proper placement and we'll put those back. I think we're getting really close to done here, guys. Now, the other thing is having um, some... Oops, I just closed us off here is having storage down here. I did bring a trunk. I don't think I'm going to put both trunks in. I think I'm going to only put one trunk in um, because we're going to be, we're, it'll be nice to have a place to put some stuff, but we're also not going to keep it down here because we're going to need these. We're going to need the temporal gears that we get because we're going to use them um, on blue things. We're going to grind some of them other than open TLs. Okay, guys, I do believe we're on to the last part of this. So what we need to do now is break out these blocks. Now, I'm not going to get them back because I'm not going to be able to uh, get in that water. But we are at the front of it. And we know this is the front because we're in between our two entrances, right? So apparently the way we need to break out these four blocks in here as well. And the the first ones we break out will define the direction the water will flow. So we need to break out this one. I'm going to go to this side just to make sure. We need to break out this one first and this one first. And then the water will be flowing down toward our carving area. We want to make sure that it is doing that. The other thing I did is I stoned all of the area down in here. Um, I would have done that no matter what. Okay, so you can see it's flowing toward here and it's not coming through the holes. Excellent. Um, that looks good. Let's go back up and take out the other two pieces of glass now that we know it's flowing in the right direction. Maybe we'll be able to get these pieces of glass once they come down. Uh, let's go see if we can get the pick up those that piece of those that glass. These are a little hard to get down into. I think I might um, take this out and um, add a ladder in a different direction. Can I get those glass? Okay, I got the glass back. Okay, so now we should be able to sit here without any weapons. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to have weapons on us in case something spawns in here. But we should be able to have our knife and carve these as they die in the boiling water and flow right to here. I'm really hoping that that's the way it works. Let's take this ladder and let's um, test out our entrance again. Put that there. And then we should be able to get right back up, fall in the hole fall in the hole and then get down. That I think would be a little bit better. A little less, a um, little less maybe odd. I don't know. Um, no, it's really hard to get up right here. Yeah. Um, maybe we need to move this trap door and put the trap door. Uh, let's do it like this. That way it opens that way. That might be a little less cumbersome. Oh yeah, see how smooth that was? Okay, perfect. So guys, that is the boiler room. Thank you, Sol Solston. I think that is how you pronounce your name. I appreciate your video. You guys, um, if you really want to see uh, the way he builds it from beginning to end, I will add his YouTube channel in my description. So now I think it's time to turn back on the stability um, and turn temporal storms back on. So let's go to tab. Let's go to world config. 
And then it's temporal. It says stability with a capital S, so I'm going to add that. Restart game or server to apply. Okay, and then I'm also going to go to world config. I want to make sure temporal storms are on. Temporal storms. And then you can pick the the frequency. So we're going to say sometimes if we need it to be more often, um, we will do that as well. So thanks, you guys. There's going to be a bonus episode. I'm hoping tomorrow the after t after the day you watch this of our first temporal storm in a long time. And we're going to test out this boiler room. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Stay safe out there and take care of yourself. Bye, guys.